Hi, we are the group Zero Pain and want to share some of our ideas on improving the review process. We are an ethnically diverse group from the Technical University of Munich and work under the supervision of Professor Bjorn Metz. We are two Indians, one Russian and one German PhD student. We think that the review process, despite being a sensitive and often discussed topic, has some flaws. For example, I think that most of us have experienced the famous one-liner re reviews improvement is marginal, not new, validation is not sufficient. Furthermore, many times authors feel that they have been completely misunderstood from the reviewers. This may be a sign of incompetent communication by the reviewers, but may at times be a misunderstanding by the reviewers as well. For these and other scenarios along the current review process, we are suggesting the following. Our suggestion can be summarized under the following motto. Enabling communication between the actors, enabling a back and forth. We suggest to substitute the old review process on the left by a new process on the right. The changes include a discussion phase which is open to all authors, reviewers and chairs. It's limited in time to one or two weeks. Authors can publicly address individual reviewers and chairs with the limited number of text. The reviewers have to reply at least once if addressed. A lively back and forth between authors, reviewers and chairs is encouraged. 5. Reviewers make a final round of ratings and have to argue how they came to their final ratings. 6. Final decision by area chair. Finally, we want to discuss how our proposed approach tackles key questions and bottlenecks that were raised in the MICAI 2020 hackathon. First, propose improvements to the rebuttal process. For our group, this is the area with the biggest potential to improve the review process. Enabling a back and forth between reviewers, authors and area chairs will inevitably catalyze the exchange of ideas. Furthermore, it will help to solve misunderstanding and will also give area chairs more context for their final decisions. Particularly, seemingly opposite estimations and decisions of individual reviewers could be elaborated and resolved in this process. 2. How to cope with reviewers who deviate from the reviewing guidelines. When allowing a free back and forth, the authors as well as the area chairs would have the opportunity to point to such inappropriate deviations. The openness of the rebuttal chat environment would guarantee an appropriate and scientific tone. 3. Come up with methods to ensure review quality. We think that the reviewers are more inclined to give sound argumentation for their decisions when they have to face a discussion and exchange of ideas afterwards. 4. Propose solutions for rewarding good reviewers. Moreover, we think that a comprehensive and communicative back and forth will enhance the satisfaction of both reviewers and authors with the review process by enhancing transparency. We sincerely thank the organizers of the Mikai Hackathon 2020, the mentors and the audience. All the best.